Greetings and welcome back to Banished. So we are at the moment building the school. Still, shouldn't take that long. We need a bunch of logs. Yes, that's right. Logs were sort of an issue. So I think the plan was to build a new area over here where we can do some uh, forestry business. Right, well, let's uh, continue. Oh, well, that was sort of sudden. And the speed is set to 2. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what else did I need to do? Yes, well, the whole logging business. I'm also going to be building a woodcutter there as well, so that I can produce firewood that we could trade for uh, other items. I don't have enough yet to trade, so there's actually nothing I can trade for, <laughs> which makes sense. Uh, and we also have a bunch of people that will come of age soon enough. This person, for example, and apparently it's winter, okay. Didn't really keep track of time. Alright, so we'll have at least one more person that will come of age in the next few months. Uh, so where... Okay, over here I have some sort of road. I think I'll place the buildings first and then I'll be building the road next to it because I won't even be able to keep track of where the road is. It's so difficult to see. Uh, so, forestry. I'll be building a regular, regular forest lodge. Yes, I'm mostly not all too familiar with uh, these specialized ones. So I'll just uh, be sticking to the vanilla forest lodge. I guess I'll place it around here perhaps. Looks like it's got a lot of forest in its radius, so that's totally fine. Also, I guess I wasn't going to build a chest yet because it was winter time and we'll have all these people moving about all the way back here. So I'm gonna pause it for now and I will be putting the road first. Wait, did I pause the game as well? No, I didn't. Everything was just very silent. Right, so I will build the road like this. Actually, the snow is gone. We can go like this. That'll work. And we'll have a secondary road over here that goes through the uh, gatherer. No, wait. The uh, herbalist. That should occupy them for a little while. Now, as for school. Ah, uh, yes, we're waiting for logs, so... We have four foresters here. I'm probably gonna drop it down to two once I get the other forester hut done. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I'm gonna need a house there as well. Yeah, let's just uh, queue that up right away. A wooden house will do. Put it right next to it. If this is gonna be a area for forestry. I'm gonna have a woodcutter there as well, so I'm probably gonna be building an extra house. This is gonna be some uh, small... Well, I guess it's not even a village. What's smaller than a village? A hamlet? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. It's just gonna be a little settlement with a few houses and a few industrial buildings. Also, I gotta put some small stockpile here for stockpiling. <laughs> Let's put it right next to the forester. Let's see. Okay, that should be big enough. Did I build a house? Yes, I did. Let's pause it for now. I'm gonna wait for the school to be built. So what's next? So now I have to wait until all these builders are done with uh, these roads, or I think. I'm actually not sure who builds the roads, laborers or builders. I've never really looked into that. And how's the other stuff going? So tools, uh, we don't have blacksmith at the moment since 
It's a part-time blacksmith and tailor. And let's take a look feathers. Do we have any feathers? Yes, we do actually. So that means that the hunting cabin did manage to get more ducks. Seems to be finding a lot of ducks and not a lot of deer. It's not necessarily a problem, but it's just odd. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that this is a map with a lot of water, which would make it so that there should be more ducks rather than deer. And we are in between two big lakes. I really have no idea if this uh, has anything to do with it, but it would make sense. Also, is this rain loud? Which it may be loud. Um, oh, well, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, and I guess I'm gonna be putting someone back at the shore house. We do have a lot of food, so that is going good. Uh, do we need more reeds? We still have plenty. I guess I can put someone in the shore house for now and get him to uh, dig some clay and sand in the meantime. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's turtles. Okay, never mind. Don't need turtles since we have enough food. Um, and school is nearly completed, so we'll be needing a teacher as well. Okay, there we go. Let's assign one teacher. Well, I can only assign one. And... No students at this time. I don't know how old they need to be to become a student. We'll have to wait and see. Alright, so let's unpause the Forester's Lodge. Ducks are very slow. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna be putting the blacksmith back. We do have plenty of iron, so I'm actually gonna put this back to a little bit of 50. And this should be set to 50 as well. Okay, that way this person actually has something to do because, oh yeah, the village is so small that I don't really use that many tools or cloths. And when you have two builders, that's fine, and two laborers. We also still have a trader back here, which isn't doing much, so I'm gonna get rid of him for now. He really has nothing to do. He's not trading and he isn't gathering resources, so that's sort of useless. And this person, how good are you fishing? That's reasonable, I would guess. Medicine is going good, so I think everything is rather stable. Uh, the next project, I think, might be uh, going this way. I'm building a bridge. Uh, towards here, so that we can build a mine later on. And I guess I'll also be building a small quarry in this area. So the plan is sort of to uh, spread out most of the uh, industrial centra, if you can call it industrial in any way, but uh, we'll have some uh, forestry area down here, we'll have the mining area down here, and that actually allows me to make use of the big size of the map to just uh, spread out things and later on I'll be building uh, buildings in between these small settlements. I'll sort of make it a little bit more organic. I don't want to centralize everything because that sort of makes things a little boring. <laughs> okay. It's raining a lot here. How's this going? We need a lot of logs. It's gonna take a while before they can gather all the logs back there. Although, I assume, yeah, they can uh, put some logs on this stockpile, so that works. That's actually pretty good because they did chop down these trees. 
and they put the logs over here so that's very efficient I guess although the stones will be more of an issue but I guess it's fine for now there's not really any rush so students we still don't have any but we do have uh, five children which will become students eventually so what do I have to do next? I think I'll go gather some more stones. And some more, more iron as well. That should do for now. And we got an extra laborer, that's totally fine. Uh, let's uh, unpause this house as well. And I'm gonna put another builder in. I guess I'm gonna up this limit as well. this it shouldn't take that long they have all the necessary uh, resources now things will start to get more efficient once everyone is educated but it's gonna take about a generation actually more than a generation I'm guessing about actually a lot of generations because people do get to become about uh, somewhere between 60 and 80 years old and uh, people come of age well normally at 10 but if they are students I think it's uh, 14 or 16 so if we assume one generation to be 16 years that means there's about uh, four or five generations alive so it's gonna take a while before we get rid of all the uneducated people but slowly but surely uh, things will start to get more efficient which will be good okay so am i gonna do anything productive i'm thinking of maybe upping the uh, speed a little bit to get things going I don't really want to go faster than speed 5, it's uh, pretty fast as it is. And especially once the town is getting bigger, a lot more stuff will happen. And they'll be building multiple buildings at once. And for now it'll do. I don't really want to rush things too much because it's sort of a, a relaxing game in a way. You just uh, organically grow things as you want to. And hope that you don't screw up. <laughs> okay, there we go. They're building this now, which is good. Then we'll have a house where most of the foresters will be living, at least eventually. I guess I can also extend this road. Uh, let's see if this works. Yes, it does. I hope it built. Oh, yeah. yeah, it did. Since I released the button during the autosave, and I'm never sure if uh, things actually work properly, I doesn't look like it uh, managed to make this road. Oh, wait a minute. I think it drew the road back here. Okay, that's odd. So yeah, as I said, the autosave sometimes messes up things, but uh, we should be fine. Uh, what's next? We're still making tools, which is fine. This is also eating up a, a few logs, but uh, it's not that much of an issue. We'll be getting a whole bunch more logs once this forester lodge is done. <laughs> sort of confusing. The forester's lodge makes logs. Well. I 
Not sure if the foresters will automatically spread out. Let's take a look. And there's one, two. Okay, they do spread out. That's totally fine. You can set it individually. So if I were to drop this to uh, just one, uh, there's going to be an extra person back here. So this is for the individual building, and this is in total. Uh, well, actually, there's three here now. And there's one here now. I'm going to up it again. Four out of four. Well, uh... I think it somehow averages it, so uh, when I drop this back to two, uh, one other one left, so they seem to try to fill up every uh, building uh, for an equal percentage, if it can. Anyway, two and two is fine. Um, and in the house we do have two foresters, so that's excellent. Right, so after this I was going to build a woodcutter so let's do that as well okay, that's not it oh yeah there's also this thing a chopper which is smaller <laughs> very small actually uh, but I don't think I uh, will be placing this in uh, this area because this is supposed to be some sort of industry uh, let's rotate this like that and then we'll be placing a small piece of stockpile there um, for few something like that will do okay We got that. I'm gonna lower the speed just a, a little bit again so that I can see what I'm gonna do. Oh, we do have one student now, which is great. Let's see what's your age. Does it even show up back here? Uh, no, unfortunately, students don't show up in here. But uh, we'll find him eventually. I think. Let's just uh, check the houses. Student 10. Okay, so instead of coming of age, they become a student at 10, and I think they start working at 16. So that does make it so that the amount of laborers you get uh, is sort of delayed by six years, or, well, six uh, seasons. So that's fine. We still have three builders and two laborers, so we have a few people that we can assign to do some jobs. For example, we'll be needing another stone cutter, uh, wood cutter here. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be expanding this road uh, to back here. I'm not gonna build the bridge just yet. So, what's next? Uh, get that industry running. I guess I'm going to need another house here as well. I'm not going to build it just yet. Yeah, I'm thinking what I'm going to build next. I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, something to do with food, I think, but I'm gonna need uh, seeds and livestock, so the important thing is that I get a whole bunch of firewood. So I'm gonna start... I guess I'll need a trader back here. And I'm gonna gather... Where is it? Firewood. Oh, there it is. Start by gathering 100 firewood. It's also sort of useful to have fire within here uh, because this is some sort of reserve as long as you don't trade it away and in case your uh, town does run out of firewood you can drop this uh, inventory, this reserve and they will be 
uh, moving all the fire route back to the stockpiles for your people to use. This one's actually different than this one. I think the last time that I did a playthrough I also noticed that, but I guess I noticed it again. <laughs> Alright. Well, how's this going? We need a bunch of logs, shouldn't be a problem, and stones, we also have enough. Let's allow this person to gather more herbs. And give them something to do. It looks like it's starting to become winter once more. Right. And let's assign a tailor again and get rid of the blacksmith. And do we have enough feathers? Uh, we actually do have a lot of feathers. And we have a decent amount of reeds, so that's fine. We don't have a lot of leather. Okay. And we should have a bunch of sand as well. And sand, sand. Am I blind? Or... No, I'm not seeing any sand. Which is odd, but uh, they are digging it back here, as you can see. There's a, a bucket of sand. Maybe it's putting it... Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put you over to dig some clay instead. Oh yeah, that reminds me. We should be looking... Oh, we got a trader. Uh, let's uh, take a look at what you have. Uh, wait a minute. Trading fire bundles. Oh, well, that's not good. Uh, do we have anything that I might need? Not really, honestly. I'm only interested in uh, livestock and seeds. And maybe to some extent in a... Well, actually, you know, I could use some rope, perhaps. Because it's going to take a while before I can make that. So let's order some rope. Uh, I guess that should be it. Because I can do some interesting things with that, if I remember correctly. And let's dismiss you. Alright. We're still building this, we got three builders, should be enough. Am I building anything else? I don't think so. No. And we got a lot of children here, so I'm gonna lay off on building any new houses because I don't want to overload the uh, settlement with children. We gotta make sure that the uh, generations grow gradually, because otherwise you're gonna start having issues once they all start dying off. For example, if I were to build a lot of houses right now, we might have a lot of children. Uh, basically, you'll have a baby boom, but once all those guys start dying off, you'll uh, your population will plummet. Which will be very bad for your uh, production. So that's something you gotta keep an eye on. So they'll uh, build this eventually. Now, what was I gonna build next? I was thinking about it, wasn't I? So, specific buildings perhaps. Maybe I can build a well to put out fires. That could be useful in case it happens. Uh, all these things are a little... One room schoolhouse. Well, that's... Odd. This is new. It's uh, sort of big. <laughs> Even though it's uh, one room, it's bigger than the regular schoolhouse, so... Educates up to 25 students, and this one... Uh, it doesn't show, unfortunately. It does seem to cost a lot more to build. So it's supposed to be an upgrade, I guess. Uh, town hall, no, colonial hall, don't need all of this just yet. And what's this? Oh yeah, that reminds me. A cemetery and a chapel. But for now, we are reasonably safe. Most of the people, the oldest people, are in their 30s. And they won't start dying off until their uh, 60s or 70s. So we're still safe from that. I could also start looking into upgrading to stone houses if I want to. And what was the other thing? A hospital, but I don't need that just yet. I 
And what do we got back here? A apiary could be useful. Uh, you can use the honey to produce alcohol, but I don't really have... Yeah, my problem is that I don't have enough laborers to get all these jobs, so... Uh, it does produce food, but as you can see, I don't really have any food issues. Uh, the uh, gatherer's hut, the hunting cabin, the fishing dock are all doing a good job of supplying my people with food. And yeah, this one is almost done. So yeah, my limit is laborers at the moment. It's gonna take a while before I get new ones, at least an extra year until this first student comes of age. I guess I'm gonna build this bridge now. A wooden bridge, I guess we'll have to do. Let's see. Yeah, let's just build a wooden bridge. Something like that. Okay, there we go. Hopefully uh, none of these guys are stupid enough to try and go the other way, but I don't think they can. We are crossing the main river, so all they can do is go over here and build it piece by piece. Alright, well, anyway, I guess I'm going to be ending, it, ending the episode right here. So, yes, I'm making some progress, and this is almost completed. So we'll have the firewood industry going very soon. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.